Well, let's start working on this map. So we have a level 3 hero, uh, who also has Chain Lightning, and Set Earth Guardian, obviously. Shouldn't forget about that. So, uh, obviously we'll be using him as the main hero. With that in mind, let's see what we are dealing with. Why? Ooh, a lot of dragons, actually. And bone dragons. Anyway, what do we have? Scroll? That's complicated. Two halfling places. Two roads. They might connect there somewhere. Wait, this is uh, definitely complicated. Need to get this gem mine at some point. Can actually get it... Uh, we can build the cliff nest, right? Yeah. So, can potentially get, th get this uh, gem mine right now, in fact. Hmm. Not a lot of money, though. Need to get, like, one hero in that area to get the water wheel, to get some chests, maybe. To get some scouting done. Well, hmm. Hmm. Should definitely hire one hero. That's for sure. Kalindra is just strictly better. So, go for that. And the Necromancer is there. I don't really care about that that much. So what are we doing next? That's the question. Can I get both of the chests, by the way? Realistically. So let's say, like... Oh, you can't really get to that chest. You can get to that chest, though. And Kalindra can get to this one. I think, I think the idea would be to actually hire another hero. So here's the issue. I can build a cliff nest, but then I can't really hire another hero after that. So cliff nest plus three rocks is 4200. That would leave me with 800. Well, we can actually see if uh, one chest would provide enough money. I don't see any problems with uh, making this move. It will need to happen anyway. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think this is safe. Okay, 1500. The issue is 1500 is not good enough. Unless I want to buy two rocks and that's it. Which I could do. So I could actually build a cliff nest. Purchase two rocks. Just two of them. And that's it. Is that a good idea? Mm, I'm definitely building this. I can just use chain light... No, not chain lightning. I can just use my normal lightning bolt to kill one of those uh, archer packs and just use two rocks. I'm assuming there will be uh, five groups of them. So just one spell and we're in. I think this is okay. I think this is okay as a plan. Okay, so the idea is uh, I can just save some movement points then and hire one more hero immediately. Barbarian, not sure about that. So yeah, get some rocks, get some halflings probably. Might as well just hire like four of them, why not? And then... I should probably leave, like, one boar, right? Maybe, like, two boars. Uh, how many boars will I need later? Like, for my halflings, I kinda want some boars, maybe to protect myself against, against rogues, potentially, if they're there. The good news is we have some good spells with us, so rogues should be killable. Well, I think two boars with me should be enough. Anyway, so you go in. Now, we just... We can actually go and kill those archers immediately. So just... Get the army to my main hero. Mm, I need to actually leave boars with... No, I don't need to. I can get boars with me. Does it matter? I don't think so. I don't think it matters. I don't really need boars. So, well... Yeah, I don't think so. So just use something like this. 
this should be good enough. And you can actually hold the bag of gold. There is no reason to. I might as well just leave it with my main hero for now. So just do something like this for now. And then uh, you proceed and take the chest. While you go and kill the archers. So let's uh, deal with that first. No. <laughs> no. No. No, thank you. So, I need to do 60 damage to kill the upgraded stack. Cold Ray is good enough. Yep. This is happening. And then we just block those packs. And we should be happy. Yeah, they can't really do much, so whatever. You skip. The main idea is that I still have uh, one more Chain Lightning on the next turn if needed. Like, there is still enough mana for it, so it's not really a catastrophe uh, to use one spell. So, I'm not sure... Hmm, leadership. Leadership is okay. It's okay. I'm just not sure if I want to, like... You know, I wanted to say that I don't really want to take new skills because I still want that logistics and uh, pathfinding and stuff like that. But, like, remembering the previous map... This game doesn't really, like, have a problem with just giving you new skills, even if you have, like, a lot of them unupgraded. So, is there really an issue in me taking leadership? Because it's somewhat relevant. It helps. Yeah, I'll just take it. So, anyway, mm, get the chest. Surely this should be better, no? At least with the consideration for my further movement. So, get the chest. Oh, yeah, good, good. I need gold. And then I'll leave this horseshoe for later. And the idea would be for you to go and get the halflings and then probably the mace as well. That's the plan. Kalindra, I have no idea, man. Just get like some random wood maybe and then we'll see about it. So, skip. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, statue is built. Okay. Okay. So, foundry. Uh, I would like to get one more hero. 500 gold would be required for that. I don't really have 500 gold, but I don't really need to build foundry immediately at the same point, right? Are there more gems, by the way? There is like one pile of it, and that's it. The point is it's probably not enough to build Cloud Castle by the end of this week, unless we transfer the army immediately to this place, or actually can just exchange resources. Okay, so let's say we're, bu we're building the Cloud Castle. How quick can it be done? So just Foundry, Ivory Tower, and then Cloud Castle. Three days. So you need to start uh, working on it at day five, at most. Which is doable. I don't really need Foundry yet, so, okay. Probably we'll just end up hiring a hero. Okay, so what is the income? 2k. 2k means that there will be 5 day skips? Yeah. So 10k in total by the end of it. 1500, 5k, 17,500. We need 4k more if we want to do that. There is just not enough money. It can be done, but cannot really hire more heroes, which might be okay, actually. Is it necessarily a problem? Maybe not. So, get halflings. Yes. Um, and let's try to get the mace as well. If something happens, we still have those spells, so should be okay-ish. Can actually split halflings. They should be safer. Okay, good. Just got it normally. Get the sawmill. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. We need to get the sawmill eventually. So just get it like that. And I'll collect that pile of wood later. So just deliver the army for now. Okay. And also get the mace. So... The main idea... Now that I think about it, I don't actually need my main hero in this area, unless we go further. What is this mine, by the way? can't see it. There is a point in going there instead. There is a point in that, with the main hero, I mean. 
Because, um, regardless, like, even if there is a city there, right? Even if there is a city, surely ensuring that we build a cloud castle by the end of the week is more relevant, it's more important than this. Yeah, maybe. But then I can go north instead and just collect resources from there, and potentially also build a cloud castle, but also get a city, or a castle, or something. That's probably a better idea overall. Well, anyway. So... Collect the gems. Collect the gem mine. Three gems! That's not a lot of gems. So kill the peasants, right? Right. Kill them, that's okay. Collect some XP, I suppose. And then... You should just stay with boars. And you get all of the army, probably. That would be the idea for now. Not really that you that you want to use it, necessarily. Just so that Sarakin is a bit quicker. Okay. Something like this. And then we just go in for the sprites. And your main idea for the next turn is to collect halflings. And then maybe visit this witch's hut. Maybe. If we have time for that. Probably not. Um, one more hero, huh? I mean, Barbarian is pretty good in this area. Yeah, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. I just hope um, I'll be able to collect enough... Enough gold by the end of this. There are, like... There's a decent amount of chests. I think for Dawn... The idea would be to collect those resources and then get to this treasure chest and the water wheel. So, go south and uh, collect all of that stuff. So, we should have enough gold, hopefully. Can't really build anything, so skip. No need for the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't expect that. Really? 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 Oh, I can barely deliver my army. I mean, I might as well just go for it since I'm in the area, but not happy about this. Yeah, yeah, I should still go for it since, um... You know... I'm very close and uh, having chain lightning should, like, ensure that I would be able to kill any opposition, if there happens to be any. Uh, I don't really want to visit this place, maybe later. It's unlikely to be that relevant and I'll lose a lot of movements. And if there is some enemy nearby already, I kinda don't want to waste any movements if possible, so... Um, I hope they run. Well, I can protect my halflings, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. What do I have? A crystal mine without any guard. Oh, this might not be safe, by the way. Uh, no guard. Which, uh, actually, I wouldn't be surprised. I should have done that first. Ballistics. Okay, who cares then? Um, yeah. That might mean that there is an enemy nearby. Like, nearby nearby. Like, very close. Because, yeah. That's very suspicious. So... Build the foundry for now, just in case, like, the enemy gets there. Maybe we'll hire some golems. Let's see. No, no, nothing. Nothing. Wait, was it there even? Oh, it was the... Oh, alchemist's lab. Eh. Eh. Okay, we'll collect the gold then. So... I kind of want to go left. Ideally, actually, Kalindra goes left. Ideally, that happens, and then we see what's up. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I mean... Yeah. Orange, by the way. Probably at least two castles. There is no way he would be able to get there that quickly. Okay. Kalindra might die, but... Okay, so be it. We get the castle at least. Need to build the... Uh... Okay, Thief's Guild is built. Which means there is just no defenders. 
that's fine. So the worst that can happen is that there uh, could be like a hero with some army somewhere nearby. Just get the gold. I don't really want crystals anyway, and just get the gold before someone gets the 2k. Like, I can't really miss on that and just collect all of that stuff. So, you get the resources. And we build, like, ivory tower. Just thinking if I would need to develop my sorcerer's city. Not necessarily, not immediately, really. Just build this thing. Skip. Hello. Hello, can get you. Elves are killable. So I think I kill Rebecca first and then immediately go to the castle. That's the plan. Let's start with the barbarian actually. Oh, oh, oh. Can I see the flag? Do you have a flag? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, get the ore and then get the alchemist lab. Okay, good to know. So. There might be more castles judging by the roads. Which means... By the way, uh, I definitely should have looked at this. Red has the same amount of castles. Okay, so that's my long-term goal then. Probably. Number of heroes. I'm first. So orange has either two or three. And that's the strongest hero actually. Rebecca. No towns on the map. Strongest hero! You! Let's kill her then. So, is there any point in changing anything? I don't think so. Just go and kill her. How do you lose 13 halflings there? Mm, I'm trying to think if she has any spells. She might. She might. I can just protect my halflings. Uh, well, there is no reason to do anything on turn one, right? I can use Chain Lightning, but like, why? But why? Actually, can I just kill them all? No, but I need one spell to kill Halflings later, so... Yeah, I'll need to let her do stuff. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. Can use haste. Haste is okay. Haste on, like, halflings. I still can go before those dwarves. So let's say I chain lightning. That pack. And then what? How much damage is this? 125. It's not even enough, really. Mm, I can do triple Cold Ray, potentially. So, Cold Ray 1, Cold Ray 2. Ooh, kinda like that, actually. Let's say one Cold Ray. Actually, I can win there. What is the easiest way? No, I need to kill one of those packs, so it would be Sprites first. And then I... Do I need to shoot? Do I need to shoot the... Can I skip? No, it's too risky, I have to shoot. Okay, good. Now I win. Well, I... Not necessarily. Uh, for me to win, this needs to work. Wait, what? Oh, it's 100! It's not 120! Wait. How did I miscalculate? Okay. Well, I still win, apparently. Oh, that was bad. That was horrible. That was horrible. I'll need to use haste. Actually, this is still okay. This is still okay. I'm still winning, and I'll still kill um, elves without any issues. But that was very messy. Very messy. So, mysticism or wisdom? Mm, probably mysticism. Uh, probably wisdom, actually. I don't really need mysticism, I think. Yeah, I don't think so. So, those guys should be killable. It would have been easier if I had any spells. Well, actually, Kalindra can do it, but then I lose XP. No, I would rather just go in. That's okay. Nope. So, I'm not sure if I can one-shot them with halflings, that's the issue. 
Let's see if we can do that. Maybe it would have been better actually to set up my halflings like a bit lower so that they can shoot through the destroyed wall if that happens. Like that would have been one thing that I could have done. But yeah, that's still enough, so who cares. So you go in and we need to build the mage's guild, but it's already there, so we're okay. Um, you leave all, the, all of that stuff in. And we probably do need Stonehenge at some point. The good news is statue is built. So that's a lot of gold, actually. That should be enough for the Cloud Castle. So two more days. Um, not enough gems, obviously, but... Almost enough money. Still need more. Let's try to get more. Hello. Can't even get to that chest. God damn it. Okay. You go back then. You should actually be able to get to the marketplace. Yeah. At day 7. So you will do that. And then... Going south is probably a bad idea. Let's check the Thieves Guild, by the way. Two more castles for Orange. And Orange has probably just one hero, most likely. Most likely. Uh, going there, though, doesn't really do much. By the way, what is the time limit? There was a time limit. Before the first day of the sixth month. Okay. Okay. Don't really want to get that thing. Yeah, let's try to collect the chest. Eventually that needs to be done. Horde of Peasants. Can I kill Horde of Peasants with one boar? I can kill like three packs of them with just uh, Cold Ray. Yeah, it's risky. Probably not. So let's collect the Alchemist's Lab. Oh, some gems. Gems are good. Okay, so you restore the mana and just prepare. And we just wait. I think a well should, should be built for sure. Like that will actually be helpful. And then we wait and see. Nothing. Okay. So take all of the army. Mm, and I'm pretty sure there should be more castles around. Can I like cast something useful? Mines, for example, yeah. Do any of you have view mines? Yes. What does that show me? I see the orange. Look. I would assume that there are... T if, if there are two more castles, then I would assume that one is located there, and one is located there, right? Because uh, that doesn't really make sense otherwise. Like, why is this mine... Why does this mine belong to orange? Yeah, probably. What is J, by the way? Gems? Okay. I see. Um, so I think I'll just go and kill the... This castle? I assume it's there. Like, look, this chest was not taken, right? And also, Alchemist's lab was also ignored. So I assume he wasn't able to get there at all, to this place. Like, none of those resources were collected. But the mine does belong to him. Which means he probably started somewhere like that. That would make the most sense there. So, I'll just, uh, long story short, I'm just going there, and I think it should be doable in, like, two more days. So, let's start working on that. And just, like, collect all of the resources that we can, and ideally, we build a cloud castle by the end of it. Uh, archery? Maybe will be helpful at some point. Ooh. Observation tower is incredible. Interesting. Yeah, that's uh, that looks like a castle. The shadow of it. Interesting. Okay, so some chests. Some chests, I'll collect that. And uh, you should... Uh, yeah, I guess you should just go and uh, get to the marketplace. Nothing to do, really. And you just get the resources. And some scouting. Maybe there is something interesting. Not really. Okay. Got it. Got it then. Um, so, next turn we build the Cloud Castle. That is happening. And then this place might as well just build Stonehenge. It is... Uh, it should be enough money. Well, worst case, I just sell something. This is doable. This is doable. That's enough resources. 
I think uh, I can definitely get druids at least. If I know that there are at least two sorcerous places, like getting some sorcerous armies is okay. It's not a problem. Druids are good. Hello. I can ignore you, honestly. Not like I care about you that much. I should be able to get to the castle, so... I hope. So it should be okay. But finding, that's good. Let's actually visit the stable on the first day. So, uh, just get as far as we can. The main, main target is the castle. I don't really care about the hero as much. Yeah, and let's ensure that we have the Cloud Castle. So get the... gems. Ore. What about ore? Have the ore mine, potentially. Well, soon. There is one ore pile there as well. Um, should like sell one Mercury, I think, and one ore. That would be the happy medium. Come. So get the cloud castle. Can just leave it like this for now. Don't really need more army immediately. Um, and get some resources, why not? While you're in the area. Done. At least I assume I don't really need anything else. I don't think so. Just skip. Oh, hello. Who are you? The convoy should have been here by now. Let us hope that it is safe and still on its way. The convoy with what? I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Yeah, I don't remember. There was like a flavor text at the very beginning about this. Um, well, anyway, so you go get the castle. Hopefully, yeah. Can actually get there. That's very good. So, go in. Yeah, like this. Well, as I said, like probably a good idea to split halflings a little bit like this, to be able to shoot a bit better. Whoa! Whoa! No way! What? Okay. Well, should definitely start with Chain Lightning. <laughs> sprites almost all, uh, almost all of the sprites are dead after one Chain Lightning against the Elves, even. I'm just, a, I'm a bit afraid of um, dwarves resisting this stuff. I should definitely do one chain lightning. But yeah, if they resist, it might get nasty. Let's start with that though. Okay, that's good. And just, let's, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's not too bad. Can deal with that. Okay then. So I can use one lightning bolt. Yeah, probably should be just lightning bolt at this point. Speed average. Can actually shoot at them right now. Actually, probably, yeah, probably haste is better. Because it cannot be resisted. And I can block the, block the bridge. And just shoot one more time. Those dwarfs. Something like this. Well, he goes first next. That's actually potentially quite bad. Well, I just hope he doesn't resist too much. I need like one magic arrow to work. Okay, good. I think that should be enough. Okay, well, actually was close. Didn't expect it to be that close. Navigation is potentially useful. I mean, if I have to choose between mysticism and navigation, and I already have plus one knowledge from the level up, I think it's just navigation. Realistically, right? Yeah. Like, I'll be able to stay in this castle for now, so mysticism will not be relevant for a long time. Yeah, honestly, might as well. Um... Well, can build ships. Didn't even build a well. Would you look at that? 
Well, can get some elves, I suppose, and that's about it. Can build druids. Can't really do much about them. Can I protect this place with just elves and druids and stuff like that? Yeah, probably. It should be okay. Is there a captain's quarters? Should probably build it. If I build captain's quarters, it should be easily defendable. Because um, there is magic arrow and it should be enough. Yeah, she doesn't really have anything. And I know for sure, judging by my thieves guild info, that um, it shouldn't be like some ridiculous starting hero. Because uh, Orange didn't really have anything like that before. So yeah. So normal hero, just captain's quarters would be enough. So by the way, Red has two heroes. Orange has some different hero, for sure. So uh, Orange has at least two. And uh, that means that, yeah, Red also has two. Yeah, so uh, you go collect the ore mine. And then you might as well just get the obelisk. On the way back, though, no reason for it now. So, get the... Um, do we need to build anything? Maybe? Like... Collect that stuff. Visit the stables. Get the gold. And then I'm just thinking. So, the main idea for this week would be to get to the last orange's castle, which I assume is somewhere there. We would need to get some giants... By that point. Mm, yes, that would be the plan. I'm just thinking if I can visit this place. I probably should because there is pathfinding and there is stable. So my main hero can just get there. But would I be able to get to the next, to the next destination point that quickly? By the way, did you really just kill this pack of archers? Pack of range? No, it's just archers, I think they're called. You just killed them! Pack of archers! Just like that. Really? Okay. Well, I will need some... Um, let's build the um, captain's quarters. And I definitely will need some... Druids and elves and stuff like that. So that kind of needs to happen regardless. Because uh, I will need to... Go back through there and just hire some troops. Oh, but I might not be able to build a Stonehenge there anymore. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, skip, skip. Right? Yes. What is the income, by the way? 4,500, okay. Yeah, you go back. That's correct. So, I will probably go and collect the pathfinding and stables. Might not be able to get to the orange, though, but we'll see how it goes, we'll see. I don't really need halflings anymore. Is there a point? No, I don't think so. Because uh, they'll just slow me down for no particular reason. How much do the druids cost? I'm just a little bit short. I'm like 50 gold short. Can you get me the money? Yes, okay, that's good enough. How many obelisks will we need? Not a lot, actually. Not a lot. That's not a lot of obelisks at all. Could also collect all of that stuff, but it can wait. All right. So, um, you get the ore. So, you build the Stonehenge. Get the Druids. Get the Elves. Yes, that should be fine. So, get all of that stuff. Probably ignore the halflings. I don't really see any use for them. And you go out. Now... Sabu... Comes towards you. Gives you this boar. Collects the army. Maybe like collects the bag of gold as well. And then what do I do with you? You can just go towards the... My main castle... That would be one thing to do. And then get the giants. Yeah, actually, maybe you even proceed then. Maybe. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's think about it. Regardless, I think you go there. And Dawn is... Actually, maybe Dawn will do that then. 
Maybe you just deliver the army then, and then Dawn continues from there. Yeah, I like that plan. I like that. And we skip. Hello. You killed the golems, huh? Rebecca. Alright, well, um... I'll get to you. A bit later, though. So, I think, actually, Sarkin will wait for a while. Because I can't really even get to Orange that quickly. Let's uh, just collect those XP things and skills and stuff like that. Logistics! That's so good! Get the pathfinding, please. And then the stables. So, you get into the castle. Yes. Then uh, you give the army to Dawn. And then I'm not even sure what do you do. I mean, I guess you should just follow Dawn and maybe get some stuff. How much money do I have? 5400. She shouldn't be able to get to me from there. Right? It's pretty far. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Might be able to. Hmm. Well, Rebecca wasn't anything, like, special, right? Not happy about this. How much money do I get again? 4,500. Don't really have enough to hire a hero and then all of the giants. I don't technically need to hire all of the giants. I can hire three of them, that would be enough. It's just um, one thing that I could do there. I could just give my army to Tsubu. So, like, go to my castle with Dawn. And then on the next turn, return and give this army to Tsubu. And potentially kill Orange with Tsubu. But he doesn't have a spellbook. That's the issue. Dawn has the spellbook. But someone needs to deliver the giants, though. And... Uh... That's okay. I don't really need to go in right now. I can wait for one more day if necessary. So... Should be fine. Skip. Yeah, skip. I'll need a well, but I need to... I can build it later. It's not a problem. Also can build Red Tower at some point. We'll see about that, though. Skip for now. Yeah, yeah, it's painful to see. Yes, but... Oh, well. Scroll. If she gets the scroll, I'll need to kill her. For real. Well, we'll see how that goes. Get the pathfinding. Get the stable. Still have one more slot, ideally, for the archery. But we'll see how that goes. And then, actually, maybe you'll even be able to get to the orange player. Like, follow this road, kill orcs. That should be doable with just army from this place. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? That's a plan. Um, you, don't, you don't really have anything to do yet. So I think you'll just stay there for now. And uh, you'll just deliver this army later. No real point in doing so right now. Well, I can actually go ahead. Yeah, you know what? That's not actually a problem. I can just go ahead and, like, kill those peasants. It's not like I really get any, like, XP from them anyway. They should be safe. Alright, just get some stuff. And, um... Well, let's collect the giants, and then I'll think about it. So that's the plan. I can hire some rocks. I should hire some rocks. There is no reason not to. Yes. But then what? Do I need a boar? Not really. Okay, so you go in. So who gets the army for now? And I mean, he might as well just continue for now. Just get maybe ore mine. I can, like, go in hard right now. But there will be more army, I think. Rebecca is not, like, strong enough by herself. There will definitely be more stuff somewhere. Interesting. 
I think I can kill her, actually, if I get my sorcerer's stuff. With one of my mage heroes, it should be doable. So, kill the skeletons. Collect the ore mine. And then I think I'm just going in. She's never attacking when I have giants. Well, even if she does, like, she's dying, obviously. Worst case, I just lose some giants, but... Unless she has, like, reinforcements. But that should be a lot of army already. No, this should be safe. Just go in. Skip. Yeah, so the scroll is with her. I do want the scroll. I do want that. Can get her. Potentially can just uh, let her run. But she will use some spells, and I'm not a big fan of that. So... Can kill the orcs, by the way. Like, if I'm not killing orcs, then how do I even combine the army? Mm. Well, you collect the gold anyway. Hello. So you're still there. Good to know. Which means... She should be able to threaten Sarkin yet. So, which means the castle should be relatively unguarded, I think. How many heroes does uh, Orange have? Wait, is that three? Yeah, that should be three. Because I didn't see Vatona yet. Yeah, that's the third one. So... Oh, yeah. One thing would be to just let her run. Let's just see where the castle is. Nomads, huh? Oh, yeah, I see the castle. Basically, no defense. And there is some defense, but... Without spell book, I'm not really going there. So what do I do? I think I should wait until Sarkin gets there. He will be able to actually get to the castle before day one. I really want the scroll. There are two approaches there. One approach is to fight her immediately as soon as possible, let her run, and then ensure that she would be able to be hired again by Orange, and then kill her later. That's one thing. Another thing, another way of doing it would be to wait until m one of my mages gets there, preferably Sarkin, because he can just one-shot her with the chain lightning pretty much, and then we just do that. So, I think... Think I'll just try to wait for Sarakin. So get like get the ore, get the gold, and then just wait in the area. You should also hang around. Can kill those orcs with Sarakin next turn, I think. Even with this army, that should be enough. Well, we'll see about that. So should build a well. At some point, I'll need to. Actually, should... Um, should build a boat as well. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we do that? Barbarian. Build a boat. And maybe even two boats, actually. Uh, probably should have hired Mira, actually. For boars. I'm not really planning on landing yet. But... No reason not to. Okay, skip. I can kill all of you. Can actually do that. Okay, so let's uh, do some fighting then. Let's do some fighting. Uh, first of all... 
I need to combine my army. So orcs need to be killed. And then Dawn, I think, will have to do all of the fighting after that. How do we kill the orcs? Well, the easiest way would be with Cebu, actually. Because uh, rocks are enough, really. Yeah, that, is, uh, that should be enough, in fact. Worst case, like, one of them goes, and uh, we'll still be able to kill a lot of that last pack. Shouldn't have any losses, actually. This should be safe. Wait, yeah, that was completely safe. So, now we combine the army. Sarkin can't really get anywhere. Yeah, okay. So, combine the army. And then... You probably kill Rebecca. So what is the plan there? I think the idea is, so you're fast and you're all average. I think the idea would be that my giants should go first. And then after that we should win. So at this point when it's elves' turn, it should be a win already. No, but then I'll still need to shoot those goblins. Oh, that might actually be... Well, um, even if she runs, that's not really that big of an issue. Can haste. Haste is probably better. Okay, I think I have the idea. Let's go. Restart. Yeah, there will be some losses. Not much you can do about that. So, we do haste, probably. And then just shoot. Or just lightning bolt. It's not enough, actually. Man, that's a lot of army, in fact. Well, that ensures me the first move after that, so... That's probably good enough. Go in. And we'll go first next turn, but is it good enough? I can't really... Hmm, that's not good enough. That is not good enough. Well, shoot them like once. Yeah, but that's still not good enough. I can kill them. I can shoot at elves like once. I can kill elves. But then he just runs. Maybe this is good enough, though. If I skip... Is it okay? I can't kill him. Okay. I think I win now. So... Use haste on... On elves, it's pointless. No, I still, I'm still not winning there. It's very complicated, but... No. Isn't it okay? No, it's not okay. No, it's okay, it's okay. So let's say I kill... Dwarfs. I kill goblins with a spell. Then I just shoot at elves, maybe. I'll need to kill elves with one attack. And my own elves are... might not be good enough for that. One other option... Let's say I go there. Goblins move forward. Dwarves attack me and die. Yeah, but it will be two turns before that. Okay, I think I have to use... 
magic arrow to kill goblins. No, magic arrow is not good enough, so cold ray then. And let's just hope that uh, my elves or rocks are strong enough. Rocks are actually better. Yeah, rocks are actually stronger, I think. Are they? Kinda close. But... Yeah... It's 20 damage. No, they, they will not be strong enough. It has to be elves. Sometimes I can kill them, but it depends. Okay. Got lucky somewhat. Well, okay. So, got the spell scroll, summon boat. Didn't really need that. I can actually get the boat normally now. But yeah. So, uh, next is Dawn. Should be able to get to the last hero like that. Whoa. Not a fan. So I'll block his droids, that's not a problem. Uh, need to counter his dwarves. Might as well get closer though. Okay, so let's uh, deal with the uh, druids first. Like this. You can actually stay there. What do we do there? Any, like, combat spells that would be useful there? Haste? Maybe just haste. Yeah, sure. Let's haste. Well, he shouldn't be able to do anything there, realistically. Good enough. And then next turn we go in. So I don't think I'll be able to get to the castle, but it's okay. That looks like a dimension door spot. Though you can still dimension door to those tiles as well, so it's not really necessary. Maybe an event spot? I don't know. Are there any heroes? Yeah, there is still this hero, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was uh, in this area. Okay. Um, well, let's just congregate around this area, not really sure what are we doing. Should actually visit the obelisk. Should deliver, like, army. There, there will be some giants, so... Though, honestly, at this point, I don't really even need giants anymore, so probably should just wait until those are upgraded. Regardless, collect this obelisk. That's okay. And you just get the mine. Done. Well, we'll get to you. So, I assume I can actually get to the castle. That's uh, perfect, then. Get that. Do you have all of the stuff built? Yeah, more than that, can actually even build Red Tower. I mean, I will. I don't really see any reason not to. Oh, you're a Sarkin, by the way. You should probably go and collect some knowledge and spell power. Though, if they have dragons, if, like, if the enemy is Warlock, and there are dragons as neutral monsters, then what is the point exactly in spell power? Well, I don't know, but you should go back to the sorceress castle and maybe protect against the sorceress. And you will just deliver this boat for later. I'll probably use it with my main hero, maybe? I do actually have navigation, so... Okay, so just collect all of this stuff next week. Um, and probably, yeah, probably build Red Tower. Sounds like a good idea. So, all of those places are set. There is nothing else that I need to do. So, well, statues. All of them. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, all that is left is just Sarkin. Well, I should uh, definitely visit this place. There are some stat-increasing buildings, there are some, like, chests, there are some gazebos, so... Still good. And let's see what happens. Yeah, I'll just kill you. 
So, um, I'll also collect the wood while I'm in the area. Why not? Logistics, hell yeah. So what do we have? I should actually probably leave all of this army. Hmm. What is the idea next? It's one of two things. Either we get um, something to break this barrier, the aqua barrier, or we get a boat there and then uh, travel by boat. I don't really see anything. Well, actually, you know what I should do? I should upgrade those things and then uh, buy some phoenixes. Okay. Oh, actually, need some army there. Need some army in this place. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I can still hire some. That should be enough. No, no, no. Well, well, that's actually enough. That, that's okay, that's okay. It's not a problem. So, I just need to see if there are... If there is a aqua tent somewhere. So, just do some scouting, please. Just do some scouting. I just need to know that. Because if there is no aqua tent, then we for sure should go for the boat plan. And that's probably the case, yes. So, can you get to the hero? Yes, but I already bought phoenixes, but didn't, like, take them with me. So, can't really even attack her now. Um... I don't really want to buy the spell book. Can we just... I don't know, can we just leave the city temporarily? Get maybe, like, go get buy something. Uh, or just hang around the place. Just be nearby somewhere, okay? Just nearby. And... skip. Yeah, we'll still kill her somehow, but it will happen. But a few days later, though. That's fine. And the gold mine, huh? Okay. Whoa! Wait, what? Okay, navigation? Sure. Um, this should be a chain. So the furthest I can go is there. Should go and get phoenixes, actually. And can't really move anyway, so that's where you'll end your turn. And then I'll need to deliver that stuff. Uh, can you land a boat there? No. So I think we should just exchange... Well, actually, I can land a boat and then immediately use summon boat. Yeah, the scroll is not with my main hero, but I can deliver it. It's not that big of a problem. So I can actually go in next turn, just from there, potentially. Sure. And then I think the idea is you land there. Try to get the horseshoe as well. Might fail though. Okay. Well, uh, you'll deliver the army. And potentially... You should kill the hero, but... Is it safe? I'm not sure if it's safe. Kinda want some spells, actually. Yeah, you have a lot of uh, mage guild levels, though it's just magic arrow. She doesn't have anything else. Well, with magic arrow it should be okay, I think. Maybe, maybe not. There are dwarfs and stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, let's just buy a magic book. And it should be good enough, so let's just proceed and kill her. And you wait there for now, so... Marketplaces? Probably. Can actually build four marketplaces now, which should provide better rates than uh, external marketplace. Actually... Well, I don't know what this is all about. Does she actually feel strong enough to go for me? Really? 
Really? I can just wait until she dies and don't really need to kill her. But really though? No way. I'm definitely stronger. Yeah, I should be safe. Let's just go. So, the idea would be that we just go in with a boar. Um, kill, like, elves. Kill more elves. Magic arrow the sprites, maybe. That kills almost all of them. No, we should kill, um... Actually, I'm not even sure. I probably should kill uh, the sprites for real. Make sure that they're dead. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate, but what can I do? So, block the elves, and then let's continue. Overall should be just one druid, and that's it. Two druids, yeah. Of course. So, uh, get the mine, and basically you don't really need to do anything. Can just, um, go and upgrade those forces. In fact, probably should just go and collect my stuff from this castle. What I'm not exactly sure, like, I want two boats, but what I'm not exactly sure is, uh, if I just create a boat right there, can I actually summon it from the opposite side of the map, pretty much? Does it work like that? Or do I need to deliver it closer? Oh yeah, so I was able to get the horseshoe. Um, just go back to the place and uh, we'll think about it. Actually, I need to visit the obelisk. And then let's try to deliver the army. Not sure if I can actually get there or not. Can definitely get the if I hire one more hero. I uh, should probably do it. There's not really that much to do though. Yeah, sure, but still. So get some random knight. And I can actually also get some armies. Also get the summon boat there for sure. Oh, that's a good question. What you should be left with is probably elves. Think so, that's the weakest unit. Okay, and then you just go and maybe do some scouting. Uh, and you deliver the army. So that should be enough for the first time. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually proceed that far with this army. It's probably not enough overall. I'll need to build, like, more phoenixes at some point. You know, I probably should, um... I need two boats, that's the thing. Well, I can actually summon another boat next turn. Let's just get into one right now. And then Kalindra will be able to summon another one next turn. Oh yeah, for now skip. Now, the plan is, first of all, let's do some scouting. What do we have? Scouting. Well then, that's an obelisk. And that is also an obelisk. This is a swamp, right? Pretty sure it's a swamp. So probably there somewhere. Okay, well, yeah, so the idea is you get the scroll, and then you will summon a boat. I'm pretty sure there is no boat yet, so I need to build one, and then I can summon it or try to, and it worked. Okay, so I don't need to deliver it, good to know. Then you get the scroll back to my main hero, and you go in. Actually, I can also visit Gazebo, but yeah, I would rather just get into the boat immediately. Makes more sense to me. And let's see what happens. I don't know. What is this island all about? 
Seems empty. Cyclops, pack of them. Killable, killable. I mean, even if there is someone, if they're not strong enough to clear this place, then do I really care? Do you have morale? So the pattern for morale, as far as I can understand so far, is that... Um, knights' armies, like neutral knights' armies, can have morale, but then, like, no one else can. Like, barbarian armies, for sure, should not be able to have morale. As far as I can understand, at least. You'll probably die if you go there. So that's enough damage. You just go in like this. And... Uh, you hit them like that. Two more HP. Well, I think one magic arrow is happening. Let's say you kill those. Yeah, and then... 23 twice. That's actually not enough for magic arrow, so I need to use cold ray to ensure that it dies. Okay. And, uh... What are you doing? Not exactly sure. Visit the windmill, I suppose. You don't really need to proceed there. There doesn't seem to be anything, really. So just go and collect resources. And that's about it, really. Can build, like, one more red tower by the end of it. But need more gems for that. Not really sure how realistic that would be. So I can definitely collect the gem mine. And this thing as well. One unit of mercury per day. Okay. And the gem mine. And then get back. So the idea would be that Kalindra just collects all of that. There doesn't seem to be any enemies in the area, so... That seems safe. Okay, and you just wait around my starting castle. Get the boar. And I'm not sure exactly what to do with you. I need to upgrade the cloud castle and get my giants upgraded as well. Definitely should happen before I go for those dragons, because I can't really do much about them with my current army. Well, I can kill them, but I'll have uh, a lot of losses. So... Not the best idea, probably. It's too many heroes, I can't really use them that much. Not exactly sure what to do with all of you. Interesting. Okay, then. Uh, I assume that's the rat's place. Okay. Well, so we'll basically need to kill the warlock as well. Or be strong enough where it doesn't even matter if he attacks. Which is the same thing, pretty much. Okay, if, uh, if there is nothing for you to do, just go back to your castles, man. Like, all of you, really. Just all of you. Just go back to your castles. Like, for example, Tsubu. Um, I can visit the water wheel, I can visit this place. And Tsubu, like, if you're not doing anything, just go back to this castle. Collect the sawmill, collect the... chest. And, uh, you know, just hang there, and then we'll think about it. So... I can either build one more red tower, or I can get titans. But it's one or the other. I can't really get both of them. It should be a red tower, though. I can't even... Um... Here's the issue. I'm just wondering, like, what do I do next? Right? And uh, most likely, next I should just land there somewhere and go in. But without titans, I can't really do that. Even if I will have more phoenixes, that still doesn't really solve the issue. Like, I can't really face those dragons without titans. 
So... Maybe I should go for Titans first and then, uh, you know, get Phoenixes somewhat later. Because it's not really about uh, Phoenixes, it's not about Red Tower, it's about Fenced Meadow. I can't really spend those gems on that. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll just concentrate on Titans now. And then just maybe I'll uh, scout some more and then hang around my starting castle until I have those Titans upgraded. And then collect them and go for dragons after that. Maybe that would be the plan. So, regardless, skip for now. I have one more day to decide on that and uh, don't really have to do anything yet. And actually, I think I'll cut it there for now. We'll continue in the next one and hopefully finish this map. For now, though, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.